Next tonight, have you heard the one about the comedy club in need of a new venue but seriously lacking cash? When the Angel Comedy Club had outgrown its venue in Camden, members approached a local landlord whose pub was being sized up by a chain of gastro pubs. To their surprise, he agreed to sell them the lease, but they needed comedy fans to help fund it. Ivor Bennett has the story. <laughs> Although I did see at least one woman go. Uh. They always knew they had an appreciative audience. Because you know when you've been married. It's not a positive. But didn't realise just how far people would go to show it. <laughs> Having outgrown their original venue in a room above a pub, the four friends behind Angel Comedy Club set their sights on a place of their own. Since they don't charge for their shows, they asked for some help with the renovations. We aimed for 20,000 and we're biting our nails assuming we wouldn't get that. And then we got it within 10 days. And it didn't stop there. Their Kickstarter fund is now over £46,000. It's just been stunning because we did a Kickstarter campaign and 1,100 people has be, have become part of the club. The people that just donated anything from £1 up to £2,000. It's not that massively different. For now, it's still a work in progress. But the end product will be as much about comedy as community. This is the, um, the uh, training room. There'll also be a podcast studio and outreach programmes for school children and pensioners. The key point for me was that it was a community club and it was being supported by the community and they were going to give back to the community. It's easy to see the effect the funding's had and in return donors get to name an object of their choice from plug sockets to garden gnomes. And if donations reach £60,000, they'll even get to rename Barry. What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong for a public vote? <laughs> um, Comedy McComedy face? Yes, Barry McBarry face would probably be my name. <laughs> That's not the only thing at stake. All four of them put up their life savings to buy the lease. There was a thought of getting a house at some point in my future. Um, I don't know whether I can now. It's absolutely the scariest thing I think any of us have ever done. <laughs> we didn't know his name. The club will officially open in October. Though there's still plenty to do, one thing they probably won't have to worry about is getting bums on seats. <laughs> Ivor Bennett, ITV News.